Police operator 1886, where is your emergency? Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm on the 106th floor of the uh, World Trade Center. We just had an explosion on the like, 105th floor. The 106 floor? Yes. 106, okay. We have smoke and it, it's pretty bad. This is on the 106 floor, right? Hello? Okay, we have the job. Let me connect you with a file, okay? On September 11th, 2021, Saturday that just passed, it would be the 20th anniversary of the September 11 attacks that occurred at four places, one being the World Trade Center in New York. Both of the buildings were targeted, the Pentagon, the U.S. Capitol, or the White House, and UA-93 taking over 3,000 lives and 25,000 people injured. This is something you may have already known, however, you may not have known any celebrities or prominent people who would have been at 9-11, whether that's the World Trade Center or close to it. So I'll be listing the celebrities who basically dodged 9-11. The first celebrity would be Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson had shows at the Madison Square Garden on September 7th and September 10th. These were to promote his new album, Invincible. And he was actually expected to be at the Twin Towers on the 11th of September. However, he overslept because he stayed up all night talking to his mother, Catherine, and his sister, Rebe. Because of how long they talked, he became very tired and he overslept. Also to him being exhausted because he did perform a lot the night before, those two combination of things really made him oversleep and this probably really saved his life. We're able to get an insight into how his family members felt about this in Jermaine Jackson's autobiography through her brother's eyes. He says, Thankfully, none of us had a clue that Michael was due at a meeting that morning at the top of one of the Twin Towers. We only discovered this once Mother phoned his hotel to make sure he was okay. She, Rebe, and a few others had left him there around 3 a.m. Mother, I'm okay, thanks to you, he told her. You kept me up talking so late that I overslept and missed my appointment. He was very close to being there, however, thanks to his family and other people, he was saved. Number two, Ian Torpe. So the Olympic swimming champion was jogging, and this isn't something unusual because he is an Olympic champion, and something that they love to do even when they're not really training is to always stay fit so when it is time for them to start competing in championships and tournaments, they're okay and it's not a lot of stress put on them because their body is used to this action. So their body isn't sore and tired when it's time for them to compete or do a tournament. So while he was jogging, he wanted to go to the observation floor in the Twin Towers. But then he remembered and he realized that he didn't even have his camera so he can take pictures. So what he did was take a taxi back to his hotel so he can go get his camera so he was able to take pictures. And lo and behold, when he got to his hotel room, he saw on his TV what had just happened to the place that he wanted to go at. And it hit him because if he would have had his camera at that moment and if he would have gone inside, he would have been a victim as well. And one of his managers, Frank Turner, told an Australian radio that, I quote, he was probably 20 minutes away from being there. He continues on to say he was shocked a few minutes later and who knows what could have happened. Number three is Sarah Ferguson. The Duchess of York was going to have a charity office called Chances for Children. And the charity is located on the 101st floor of the North Tower. 
and her charity was going to be that morning. However, for her, she had an interview that morning with then interviewer for NBC, Matt Lauer. And because it was in New York, the traffic is hectic. So she became 20 minutes late for the charity. However, being 20 minutes late for the charity meant that she was not in the building, meaning that she wasn't a victim of the attack that occurred that she was not there for. She would later go on to say that I take every minute as a blessing because she knows that if she was in that building at that time and not 20 minutes late, then she wouldn't have been here today. So because of that tragedy and that experience, she makes sure that every day is lived like the last day of her life and that she takes every minute as a blessing. Number four will be Gwyneth Paltrow. And with Gwyneth Paltrow, her situation is a little bit different. She, in particular, did not dodge 9-11. However, she helped someone else dodge 9-11. So a woman saw her in her car and it was a fan and she was so fascinated by Gwyneth so she talked to her for a little while. The lady was a worker on the 77th floor on the South Tower at the World Trade Center. And because they were talking for a long time, I guess she lost track of time and the lady would later miss her train and losing her train basically saved her life. Paltrow would explain the experience on Reuters and she said I was on my way home and it was the morning of September 11th not that I knew at the time what that meant and a girl was jaywalking across the street and we kind of both stopped at the same time and waited a really long time. She would go on to say 10 years later I got a letter from her saying that she had been late for work and we had that thing and she went down to the Christopher Street station to catch her train to go down to the World Trade Center where she worked on the 77th floor of the South Tower and the train was just pulling out. So had we not had that interaction, she feels like her life would have taken a much different course. It was an extraordinary story and all I could think about is all the people who had experience like that that day but aren't able to reach out because it wasn't a recognizable person. So even though Gwyneth Paltrow herself didn't dodge 9-11, she was able to help another person dodge it indirectly by having a long conversation with that person and being able to prolong her time so she wouldn't get on that train. Number five, Mark Wahlberg. He was supposed to be on the American Airlines Flight 11, which would crash into the North Tower of the World Trade Center on September 11th. However, at the last minute, he and his friends changed their plans and they chartered a plane to Toronto, Canada to attend a film festival. So they had a little bit of a last minute change to his original plans. After the tragedy, he would go and interview with Men's Journal and he would say, if I was on that plane with my kids, it wouldn't have went down like it did. There would have been a lot of blood in the first class cabin and then me saying, okay, we're going to land somewhere safe. Don't worry. But a lot of people didn't like his statement, so he would later apologize and said, To speculate about such a situation is ridiculous to begin with, and to suggest I would have done anything differently than the passengers on that plane was irresponsible. I deeply apologize to the families of the victim that my answer came off as insensitive. It was certainly not my intention. Number 6. Seth MacFarlane Writer of Family Guy, who just like Mark Wahlberg, was supposed to be on that same American Airlines flight number 11. And this flight would later crash into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. But because of a booking mix-up and a hangover, he missed the flight by 10 minutes. He 
He would go on to quote, I was booked on that flight and I was drinking the night before and hung over and I missed the plane by about 10 minutes. It was a very close call for me. So because he wasn't in his right mind and he was intoxicated the night before and he had a hangover, that stopped him from getting on that flight. And also 10 minutes before being on there, he was late. So I guess everything worked out for him and maybe being hungover and being late sometimes, maybe it can actually save your life. Because it sure saved McFarlane's life. That is my list of celebrities who were almost a part of the 9-11 casualty slash tragedy. My heart goes out to all the victims and their families. It's a very hard thing to go through, but I know that we are here to comfort you all and I pray that you all will be comforted. For more Abby Dagren content, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload videos. All of my social media accounts are on the page in front of you and they're also linked down below and you can support me through PayPal, which is all linked down below. Love you all and stay tuned for the next video.